the morning. We're heading out again. Science Museum. Yay! There we go. Oh, wow. days after Christmas and we're waiting for the bus we're gonna go to the Marine Town Museum <laughs> yummy I like pizza look how big it is Weekends on YouTube. <laughs> All right, thank you, 3K Brandy, for another great introduction, and thank you for coming back for part six of my third trip to the UK. And this time, we're heading to the Royal National British Museum. It's gonna be epic. It's gonna have all kinds of cool fossils and rocks and parts of centuries old. And you're gonna really enjoy it. There's so many pictures, you'll probably get bored. But I'll try to make it fresh and exciting. So, first off, we gotta catch a bus. So, here we go. It's December 29th. December 29th. It's Thursday. Thursday. Right after Christmas, almost New Year's. And we're heading out again to another museum. New Year's Eve. We're heading out again. I don't know where we're going. She hasn't told me. Science Three... Museum. Science Museum. Yay! Let's go. It's uh, good weather. It's not raining. It's partly cloudy. Let's see. See the clouds? Got blue sky, but clouds. Supposed to rain tomorrow, so we're hitting it hard today. Not really hitting it hard. <laughs> we're just going. We're just going. <laughs> Take advantage of the good weather. Maybe tomorrow we'll do it again in the rain. Who knows? <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. The let's, British Museum. The British Museum, yes. All right, let's show you what we're walking down. Do, 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 do. The beans are out the day after the holiday, but the black, the green bean is still not being collected. And oh. The food bin is not being collected, but the black bin has been collected. Okay, so tell us what are the different bins? This is for recycle, and that's for anything. And this is the food bin. So you got food, recycle, and rarely um, assorted um, various trash items. So food in the small bin, recycle in the green, and regular. Right, miscellaneous found some eggs for free and this happens. one this is gonna cost five pounds fifty for this because it is uh, i 
it's 12 pieces for two pounds 30. All right. This is so right around the corner, there's a market. Yes, I'm modeling. <laughs> Very good model. Um, right around the corner, there's a market. So I assume that's where it came from. It's not a market. It's so Some kind of a small convenience store, right? Yeah. All right. Well, we're going to take this back to the place, to uh, to uh, uh, 3K's place. Yeah. It's somewhat of a common occurrence when you don't need something, you just set it out by the curb and give it away. So that's what happened with the end. There we go. Back on the train. Isn't this cool? As soon as you walk out of the train station, there's this big screen on the side of the building. And then inside, it's like an open courtyard kind of thing. And when you go inside, there's these screens on all sides of the walls. We'll check that out in a second. But here, look at those historic buildings here, right next to the train station. Very cool. And some skyscrapers. <laughs> Very cool. All right, let's go inside and see what this is all about. As we move inside the building, you'll notice there are screens on every wall and even on the ceiling. So just sit back and relax and enjoy the movie. Isn't that trippy? 
What an experience, totally immersive. And it was totally free. All right, guys, we can't stay here all day. We got to get to the museum, so let's get on our way. I got something for your mind, your body, and your soul. Check out this logo. It reminds me of Chick-fil-A. What do you think? And chips, bubble tea, bubble tea. We're almost to the museum. Well, our plans had to change for the science museum because you had to make a reservation before you could go. So the British Museum was really close, so we just went over there. What a grand entrance with these huge columns. Let's get inside. We made it. All right, let's take a look around this museum. First up, Egypt. Let's check out all the cool Egyptian artifacts. Wow, this is my first time in a museum with real Egyptian artifacts. I've only seen this stuff on TV and DVD documentaries.
Well, we ran out of time at the British Museum, so we gotta hit the streets of London. Let's do it. After walking down the streets, we came across a pub and decided to check it out. Checking out pubs in London are always wonderful. They're always beautiful inside. And this one has airplanes hanging from the ceiling. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, the night is still young, let's continue on. down this side street kind of one-way street thing where there's nobody here it's like off the main touristy main touristy area that was where the last pub we went into they used a toilet and now we're walking down another side street and it's just so quiet here nobody's here it's really neat off the hustle and bustle from where we just left the British Museum with a thousand people. Can't hear the cars, can't hear trains, can't hear planes, don't hear people. It's so weird. Of the hustle and bustle of London. Look at this little shack of a restaurant. Yeah. the pharmacist. Well, 
Well, that was so much fun walking through London. And now we're at King's Cross, and 3K is going to show me around. Let's get inside. Do you know what this location is famous for? There's your hint. Write it in the comments if you know what this place is famous for. And now we moved into like a plaza area between King's Cross and St. Pancras International. And there's this cool little bird cage, like Tweety Bird. Isn't that neat? <laughs> That's a bear bird cage. All right, let's see what's inside. St. Pancras International. I came across this diner that I've never seen before. It's kind of like the opposite of a buffet. You know, in a buffet, you get up and you pick out different kinds of foods on a big table. But here, the food comes to you and you take it off the conveyor belt. Interesting.
what a nice place to visit. The architecture so stunning. It's time to start heading toward the exit, so let's get on our way going downstairs. Get out of here. All these ballerinas and all the windows. How cool is that? You can do a short place. Go around with it. Wow, scan to the lake. And look, it's Santa Claus at the top. I don't believe it's Santa Claus. I don't believe it's Santa Claus. Look at all the... As we continued venturing through the area, we came across this piano with a young man playing it well. talented young man. Well, let's keep on the move and hit the streets of London again. All right, guys, I just got too much more fun from this night to share with you. So we're going to cut it off here and pick up next time with part seven of my third trip to the UK. I hope you've enjoyed this video so far. And if you have, please hit the like button. And if you haven't already, please subscribe and share this video with a friend. It doesn't cost you anything and it'll help my channel grow and I will really appreciate it. I want to hope that you would come back for part seven as we continue our wonderful night here out on the town of London. Thank you for watching RV Weekends. We look forward to seeing you next time.